Hello, this is John from GEDMathLessons.com. Uh, it's my uh, free GED Math course online. I'll tell you a little bit more uh, about that later. But in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and focus on the concept of perimeter. Okay, uh, definitely uh, something that you want to know uh, in your preparation for the GED. Now, as with uh, a lot of things in math, uh, the concepts are you know pretty easy to understand, but the application of them can get you know, it can start off easy and then you can certainly make it more complex. But perimeter is not that difficult to understand. And I got two figures here. We'll take a look at both and then I'll leave you with some follow on suggestions um, uh, before the video ends. Okay, so perimeter is effectively just the distance around something. So let's suppose I have this um, square. Let's say this is a soccer field or a football field or I wanted to measure um, all around, okay, the entire length of the field. So if this is, in fact, a rectangle, let's say this is 100, and let's say this is, let's say, 30, the perimeter would be this distance, I'm going to draw it, this distance, plus this distance, plus this distance, plus this distance. It's the total um, distance around an object. Just kind of think of it as if you were walking around this thing and, and you wanted to measure how uh, much you traveled if you were going to do a complete lap around something, okay, that is perimeter. So the perimeter of this um, rectangle here would be 100 plus 30, right? So let me kind of just erase this here so we can kind of keep track of this. So it's 100 plus 30, but we're going to go another 100 this way, right? Plus, we're going to finish this out by going another 30 this way. All right, so when you do this calculations, we get 100 and 100, that's 200. And then I get 30 and 30, that's 60. So this is 260. Now, if this was feet, for example, the units of measure would also be in feet. So that's just the basic concept of perimeter. But oftentimes, um, you know, it's easy to understand. But if you don't know what the word means, Okay, if the, if the problem says, hey, find the perimeter of, uh, of something and you confuse it with area, then that's where a lot of students get, get themselves in trouble. So it's important that you understand the terminology of these things. Now, that's a real basic perimeter uh, problem. But in all likelihood, you might very well see something like this problem here. So let me just kind of draw in some figures, um, some numbers here. And I'm just going to make some things up. And I'll give you a chance to actually do a little, like a little pop quiz question here. All right, so here is a, um, a figure. And if I asked you what the perimeter of this figure was, what would it be? So you might want to pause the video and see if you can figure it out for yourself. Okay, again, perimeter is just the distance around. So you can start anywhere. So let's suppose I started walking here. I went eight. Then I went three, then I went 10, then I went another eight, then I went six, and then I went, well, this distance here, actually, I need to put a distance in here for that, three, sorry about that, and then four. Now, if you answered, <laughs> you took my little quiz without that number there, and you said, well, I can't calculate the perimeter because I don't have a value there, that would be a good response, okay? So, <laughs> so anyways, but anyway, but, Getting back to the idea of perimeter, it's just the distance around. It doesn't have to be that complicated. So we would just add this up, 8. Now I like to, you know, kind of keep it in order, right? Just kind of go this way. A plus 3 plus 10 plus another 8 plus 6 plus 3 plus 4. Okay, so we do all this math. We'll get the perimeter. So let's go ahead and do it anyways. So 8 and 8, that's 16. 10 and 3, that's 13. And then right here, I got 6 and 4, that's 10. And another 3, that's 13, right? So I'm just kind of doing some uh, shortcut math here. That's 26 and 16. Let's do it over here. 16 and 26, that's 12. So if I did this right, it should be 42. Now, again, if this was in feet, this would be 42 feet. Now, another... Uh, 
thing that you want to be careful with when it comes to perimeter calculations is exactly what I'm showing you here. You're doing a lot of calculations, so it's very easy to make a mistake, even though you know what you're doing. You can be able, you can make an arithmetic mistake. So when you're doing this on your calculator, or if you're doing it um, writing things out, double check that you have all your numbers there that you're actually calculating perimeter. So this is a basic idea of perimeter. Now, let me kind of show you some other type of problems, kind of sketch them out the best I can. You might have something like this. Oh, let's say, just kind of drawing something kind of crazy here. So they might indicate in the figure that this is one, that this is like a rectangle, if you will. All right, kind of follow me what I'm saying here. So this would be, let's say, 10, and then this would be 2, and let's say this would be 3, right? And then you essentially have to figure out, you'd have to kind of determine what these lengths are. They're not going to give them to you. They're not going to give them to you, but you'll have to kind of work with this side if they said this is like a rectangle, for example, okay, if these are right angles. And to basically fill in the blanks. So you're going to have to have some knowledge of triangles and, and look at the figure because very often they, you know, in a perimeter prom, they won't give you every single length. Kind of, they're not going to spell it out. They're going to, you're going to have to study the figure a little bit and use the relationships where it's going on to get these different areas. So if this is 10 here and this is 2 and 3 and I want the perimeter and these are kind of right um, angles, okay, this down here would have to be what? This is 5, so somehow this these two figures down here would also have to end up being 5, right? I got 3 and 2, so this plus this would also have to be 5 for a total length of 10, because this is 10 down here, all right? So I hope that kind of makes sense to you um, in a sense that, um, uh, you know, in the perimeter uh, figure, you know, it's not going they're not going to part of the problems that they're testing is your ability to kind of reason through and get those missing um, uh, values. But again, not difficult. Uh, perimeter, pretty easy, but it's also easy to mess up, right? And it's also easy to be intimidated by if you don't know what the word means. And if you look at a figure and like, well, the, the numbers aren't there. Well, you just have to study it a little bit more and add in uh, the missing values and you'll be okay. All right, so kind of short and quick video. I don't think we have to need to go any uh, further on that. But um, anyways, uh, on my particular uh, YouTube channel, I'm doing a ton of stuff. So please consider uh, subscribing if you need help with math. And also uh, hit that bell button so you get my notification. I'm doing videos constantly. So you'll get my latest videos if you hit that uh, bell notification on your sm uh, smartphone. And then, um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and give me some feedback. I do try to read as many comments as possible so I can make um, better videos for what you're looking for. And last but not least, I want you to uh, I want to invite you to my free GED math course. I've had a ton of success, um, you know, with people taking, uh, going through my course program and passing the GED. So it's at gedmathlessons.com. I'll leave that link in the video description. And thanks for watching and have a great day.